I don't know, maybe this is the start of something. Maybe this ratty old piece of steel can mean something to people in the future. And there's the champ right there. I'm really happy that Dennis is holding this hammer right now. Uh, I, I do believe that he is the strongest, the baddest left-handed guy that I've ever faced in my life. And uh, I think that there's a very short list of people who should even think about trying to get it from him. I think that this dude is a soldier. And I think that when he defends this thing, uh Good luck. Good luck getting it from him. Um, you know, I guess for me, it's it's really about what do you do with losses like this because it was really full. You know, you never stop learning. That's that's the one thing that I like to think. Uh, you're never done. Even 25 years in the sport, you never stop. You take those lessons, you share them, you uh, and you work on them. Uh, so far, I think the lessons that I've learned from the Dennis match have, have really been paying off. Uh, I've had a really good season last year. Uh, and, yeah, and I've still been able to go out and have fun. You know, I haven't stopped living. But uh, it's great. The further you go, uh, the more the lessons are kind of big. Uh, and... I've, I've done my best to go out and share them. And I know that the waves are long now. Uh, they're much longer than I used to think when I was younger. Uh, you have to extend your vision. You have to really understand what competition and peaking and leveling up is all about. Um, you have to be able to put pieces together so that you present... A final product which is uh, which is special and we all have our thing in this life we all have, have chosen some some unique path so it's about one year for me it is uh, since that epic loss uh, it's interesting to me like the common perception when you lose a lot of people right away think, oh, that's your opportunity to quit. Uh, but I'll tell you, it's really, it's the best opportunity to actually reach another level. Um, it's always been the way that I've tried to look at things. Some losses are harder to swallow than others. Mm. I don't think it matters if you're an athlete, uh, a businessman, a guy who builds houses, a fisherman, a card player, whatever it is. Uh, when you have those big losses, if you can digest them um, and take all those lessons, it's your opportunity to really level up significantly uh, and not to be arrogant, but I, I really feel that this loss that Dennis gifted me has done that for me. Um, so... I don't like to idolize people or anything like that, uh, but um, I think everybody has a lesson to teach you. Uh, my father once told me that one of the keys to life is uh, just to stay on the path, to stay on the path that you've chosen forever. Because there's, what is there? Is there 8 billion people on the planet right now? I don't think anybody knows, but there's a lot of us. And we're all kind of trying to do our contribution. And most of the best contributions are the, by the people who have gone the furthest in their fields. And listen, arm wrestling is the most simple, simple thing in the world. <laughs> okay, but, but even it can reveal truths if you look at it long enough. So uh, whatever it is you do... Uh, just stay on your path and uh, don't forget to uh, stop and smell the roses every once in a while.